What's up, everybody? Uh, so, why is this right here? So, um, I've been, uh, I've been playing PUBG, uh, and like I, and you know, I made the claim that, um, I could play a video game and it's somehow more valuable, um, than anything that my jealous, my jealous, not even competitors at this point, um, are doing. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Now the game is updated some. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the volume down to make sure you guys can hear me. The game is updated somewhat. Things have changed since the last I played it. I'm gonna be doing Metro Royale today. And seeing as I'm going into Metro Royale and I'm increasing shared policy, that's disgusting. Um, I am going to. I'm, we're officially me Metropolitans. It's officially Metro, we're officially Metropolitans, so yeah. So I'm gonna go in the game, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just show you some things that I think are important, some things I notice. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say that the game considers me not having a weapon at this point. I have the knife. Uh, I'm trying to figure out another way that a knife could be used. Uh, I think I'm on to something, but I need some time. So let's go in there. We're gonna be discussing in this game, how PUBG Metro Royale represents colonial behavior and the hypocrisy of participation in the way the game tells you to play. A major twist. And an argument that seems to make the game pointless but should be asked about life. Look at my character. I've been trading a little bit. I, I've been going on there and I've been trading with people. Um, I, I started my campaign. Um, uh, I, I want to be the, uh, the face of PUBG. I'm going to be the president of PUBG, uh, whatever. So vote PUBG Jesus. <laughs> That's so hard, bro. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of that, too. Oh, look at that, Sammy Ray. Always trying to be like, no, you just disrespect my gun. I don't care, I don't care. I don't have to be reasonable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. How many times you died doing that though? Well, it's taking it's taking a while for the game to start. I don't know if it's building up suspense. I guess I, just, I guess I can keep talking. Uh, so, um, one of the things that are also going on is I started burying everyone that dies or everyone I come across that's killed. I take their items and I bury them next to trees. I place their items down next to trees because that is the closest that I can get to burying them. Now, my behavior seems to have altered the game so that tribes have developed on the map. And, and I believe that this is directly connected to my behavior because my behaviors uh, challenge some of the natural unethical stances in the game. And so as I became more ethical, the challenges in the game sought to break those ethics apart. Um, but because they sought to break those ethics apart, they also had to become more ethical themselves. This is, this is taking a long time. This is taking a long time. It's taking too long. And so an argument can be made uh, that's somewhat like, if, if this is, if the game is challenging ethics, then we need to stop playing the game. No, we need to keep playing the game until the game has to evolve into an even more dynamic, interactable experience. This is really taking a long time. This is taking a very long time. I'm, I'm upset at how long this is taking. Yeah. 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 
you're trying to make me forget everything or you're trying to hold it until I forget to do everything. Is that, that's all you people have is me making a mistake now. That's all you have. It's just a mistake. You don't even have me doing anything wrong. You just have me forgetting something. That's your, that's your little, that's your pride and joy. Bro, it never takes this long for the game to start. I'm pissed. Is this your joke? This is what you get for saying that that one game was gameplay. This is what you get. Nah. Give a fuck. Are you, are, you, are you just waiting on me to get upset? Is that what you're doing? Is that what this is? This is annoying, bro. Bro, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm, I'm, I'm mad right now. Saying, oh yeah, y'all, y'all are so scared of me being right that you won't even let me play the game. Anymore. That means I won automatically. I won automatically. Look, like, even homeboy nodded on that. <laughs> that established a separation. You're not that character. <laughs> Bro, I can hear you, bro. Bro, it is never taking this long for a game to start, bro. No, you don't get to tell me how to organize my presentation. You couldn't even come up with my presentation. Okay, okay well then don't ask me for help. Live your life, cry. You don't get to complain no more. Nobody wants to hear you say anything is bad about your life. You don't care. Bro, that was strategic. They, you guys purposely pulled out of the game. No, that's not even what happened. You're just trying to get me to believe something. You're just trying to get me to believe something and use that belief against me. That's all this shit is, bro. I'm tired. I'm, I'm sick of this, bro. Bro, how is that not? There's a truck that literally just has my initials on it. What is that even? I've never seen that before, bro. Uh, that's your name. You agree that that's your name? Bro, I'm pissed, bro. Bro, I'm pissed. And I, I see y'all trying to come up with an argument for why my audio isn't recording right now. What are you gonna do if it isn't recording anyway, huh? I don't know, I'll fucking find you. I don't know. Saying all you people act like this and then wanna fucking complain about how good my life is always trying to be. This is the one that kills everybody. We all have to provide something to live. You prevent somebody from providing. We all have to provide something in order to earn. You prevent someone from providing. This is the argument that kills everybody. 
It's just a game. No, it's not. You know what it was. I explained it too perfect. I don't care. I'm not rich, so I'm just a fucking asshole for about it. I, I don't care. I don't care. It's not fair. No, I'm gonna act like it doesn't matter who you are and, and take your shit and then tell, tell you to, to, to just be a regular person, but that's not even a regular person because I took your shit. I'm gonna rob you and then tell you to get a job. I'm gonna rob you and then tell you to get a job. Despite the fact that you provide more than I ever have in my life, I'm gonna get upset that you have privileges that I don't. Excuse doesn't pass, this is not fucking funny, bro. I was making a real point. There were, there were patterns, logical, psychological patterns, and I observed them. You wanna waste my time right now when you know I have something important to do. Always trying to go out of your way to give me what I earned in a way that I don't want. Always trying to do that, and then you complain about how your life is. This is an anger hold. You hold me until I'm frustrated, and then, I, and then I threaten you, and then you say, no, we're all threatened. We get to be this way now. No, you fucking don't. No, you don't. And you ain't smarter than me either. Man, a lot of you too old to be doing this shit, too. And we can lose some people. find it funny that somebody who actually deserves it doesn't get it because for some reason there's something wrong with you. This isn't funny. It's not funny at all. You like making the person who deserves more than you look like they don't so that you can feel better about yourself. You're not laughing because it's funny. You just like torturing me because you hate that you aren't me. You like torturing me because you hate that I have qualities that you will never be able to mimic. treating me like I'm, I'm like I'm the lab experiment you keep treating me like I'm the little test subject y'all are insane for that and and, and remember when y'all were calling me a psychopath because I wanted to do that to you remember that I ended up being right regardless of what side of the argument I'm on fucking piss bro I'm mad bro Dumbass nigga over here telling me, bro, you need to keep your secret. Keep that to yourself so that you can have more value. That's not how you get more value. That's not how you get more value. Well, then you can't keep anything for yourself, and that's why you don't have a home. Man, fuck out of here, bro. All right, watch this, bro. World War Three. I don't give a fuck. I don't got to help.
Uh, keeping secrets creates jealousy. If I've got the ability to make a lot of money, yeah, that's what I fucking. That's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought, bro. What? Me and bro, cause y'all took my home because because niggas that want to keep taking advantage of you. Uh, told me to keep secrets that they were they were they're not keeping they're not letting me keep the secrets they put mics on my stuff I'm, I'm using a tablet right now that they can they can scan and observe they ain't keeping they ain't letting me keep my secrets so why would I listen to them they're not letting me keep my secrets they want to know everything I know but they're telling me not to let anybody else know I know not to listen to them I know that this is one of those stories where I kill people All right, we're 16 minutes in. And, and, and you got me, you got me mad enough that you think I'm gonna forget to say something. That's what you, that's what this is. You got me mad enough. You think I'm gonna forget to uh, to say something I need to say? But here's what it is. So in the game, there was a suggestion made in the in the little area where it says return cut down, where it just got taken away. We were told that enemies are invading. Now in the game, there are tribes being developed. On the map, you can see the. You can see the word tribe. You can literally see the word tribe. And these tribes are just of, of players who are, we're being told are enemies cooperating with one another. NPCs, we're being told that they're not real players. Cooperating with each other as we come in and we invade and we take their stuff and we kill them. The thing, the, the title says enemies are invading. The twist is that we're enemies. I was gonna, I was gonna be more entertaining. I was, oh, you think it's entertaining when I'm mad? Okay, be, be entertained. You will be, you will be sorely entertained, all right? All right, sorry, um. We're told that the NPCs aren't real, yet they're cooperating with one another. They're not just roaming the map stealing. They're not just roaming the map killing us. They have an area, they've cooperated, and they've made that area theirs. They're real, somehow. Even if it's just the developers, that nature is occurring through the development to express itself to us. We go in and we steal their stuff, we invade, we kill them, and we do it because the game tells us to. The game, the game doesn't even say these guys are enemies, it just says there's an enemy invading. I believe that this is a colonial hypocrite scheme in which we're just doing what we're doing, and because it's a game, we don't think we're doing anything wrong, but we're actually harming people. And here's how we can make this connection. We exist in a time where the idea that we live in a simulation is accepted by enough people that it is a valid religious discussion that is being had constantly. Midnight gospel, every time someone gets high. Oh, are we in a simulation? Oh, the simulation of this and that. A real thing that blurs the lines between real and digital gaming, or real and digital life, real and digital life, that blurs the line. Combine that with the fact that digital games are just a combined human psychology. Digital games are just made by combined human psychology, which means that whatever causes us to think is also causing us to make these games. And so there's something being tracked by our development of game, meaning that even if it's just developers making it, there's a reason that those developers made it, and there's a place that that idea or that urge to make it came from. And so, there's a line blurred. Even if you believe in a religion, there reaches a point in which you can no longer explain how things are physically here. That is the same thing within the confines of digital space. Now, we get on this game, and we kill, we steal, we invade, and we do it all heartlessly. We don't care because it's just what we're doing. This is what we were told the colonials did, the, col the colonists did to, look at that, early American tribes, early tribes, right? So, the systematic I need hypocritical scheme convinces enough people that we live in a simulation, blurs the line between digital and real reality, and then has us get on this game and just invade and participate in the same actions that colonists, colon, col colonists, col colonists. Col oh my gosh, I just said a Greek god's name. A colon col colonist, um, that colonist uh, participated in. And 
because of their participation or because of our participation, we are now hypocrites based on the things that we collectively believe as a group in a society. Now, somebody argues, if that's what's happening, then we need to just turn the game off and stop playing. The issue with that is reparations is occurring because that's what colonists did. They just turned the game off, but they did not fix the problems that they caused. This is, an, this is a hypocritical argument. This is what this is. So, they, the, they just said that they sexually humiliated me. They said that they're, they're, these guys claim that they'll sexually humiliate everyone else but me. Dude, like, this shit is insane, bro. The, these guys saying they sexually humiliate me to distract me. Give me a second. So, with that all acknowledged, if we stop playing the game, then we will not have actually changed the state of what's happening. We will have just said, oh, oh no, and then logged off and ran away. Staying on the game and figuring out how to increase ethical transaction, figuring out how to increase the development of these tribes will actively correlate to whatever psychological failures are causing issues within our own real environment. As I said, I've been taking the uh, dead players' things and I've been burying them next to trees. I've been putting them next to trees and that's as close to burial as I can get. One of the ways I'm being respectful, these point. behaviors are what develop the tribes. And there's another argument here that we need to keep these digital things from becoming real. But once again, because of that inability to describe life further than we can, by trying to prevent these things from becoming real, we also prevent ourselves from becoming better, from evolving, from growing. Now, you guys, she's caught. You guys are all taking her to prevent me from saying something else I need to say. But here's the thing. I, I play the game more ethically. I change my behaviors. I trade with the NPCs that we're told are not real, right? But based on the collective thinking, there's a chance that they actually are. We all live in a simulation, yada, 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 right? So, as I do that, the tribes develop. They show that they're cooperating. They learn from me. The no, the developers just added it. Why? Why did the developers feel compelled to do that? So. There's an argument made that as we play the game and we become more ethical, that the game will only become more ethically challenging as a result. That as we all play better together, in order for the game to be played, there needs to be some challenge. And so because of that, the game will continue to create ethical dilemmas for us to face. This is the flaw with that argument. One, if we become so good at what we're doing and we, and we become, our behaviors become more effective than the game tells us to be, the game will have to evolve in a positive direction in order to continue existing. Because if we're all not doing anything wrong and there is no basis for conflict that the game can take advantage of, then the game will have to establish a new setting or new space. It'll pretty much have to expand as a result. People don't want me to do this right. So they just took some of my stuff and said that I could survive it. I'm killing people, I don't care. That's what that was. You just took some of my things and said I can handle it. I, I can't, I'm killing people. So, one of the interactions that I've established with these players, seeing as these communities are just defending themselves, I regularly give them materials, I give them weapons, and I give them cash. Now, cash is simply a, a way of asserting that I have no intention to fight them because with the weapon alone, it could be an ethical trap for my side. I give them a weapon, they take it, they agree to a fight based on, oh, wow. So by giving them cash, cash is the closest thing that I can do to, to bro, stop shooting at me, bro. The reason that they continue to shoot at me is because every other player on this game comes on and just continues invading and attacking them. This means that I could just be a part of a scheme to lower their guards so that they can be attacked. They have a right to defend themselves against me. I cannot ignore that. So I just avoid them, and there are times where they give me more time to run away, where they ignore it. Bro, this nigga's gonna kill me. This nigga's gonna kill me, bro. Hold on.
once again, this is where, bro, is he chasing me? Bro, you're not faster than me. There's no way, you're not faster than me. There's no way. You're not a good shot either, bro. You're not that good a shot. Help! Nigga, what? All right, bro. So, ask the question that if we believe that the game cannot continue anymore, if all it does is create problems for us, imagine that we all become better traders, we all become more ethical, to the point where we're not doing anything wrong, and life or the game has to just find ways to trick us into doing wrong so that it can create conflict. The game, we would argue not to play it anymore. We would argue that it does not make sense for the game to continue. We should ask that same question about life. How could life continue? We all became exactly what we needed to be, but are afraid of becoming out of fear of vulnerability and attack. And all that happened was that the game life kept trying to trick us into doing wrong so that we would deserve it. If we all held that position for long enough, there would be some collapse of challenge against us. Okay, what did I say I was going to do? Um, describe... Hip, the hypocritical scheme, simulation connection, ethical challenges, the question to ask. What else was there? What else did I need to do? I'm not asking y'all. Y'all are the ones taking it. Oh, so. As you've seen, all those examples of things that are going on, um, there's probably there, there's going to be another change in the game. I've caused too much of a friction with the conflicts that it's causing. Twist, oh yeah, I did say the twist. The twist is that we're the enemy that's invading. That's the whole twist here. And it's supposed to be, we didn't, we didn't know what we were doing was wrong, and we didn't care because it didn't seem like y'all mattered, and that's what we're doing on this game. That's the colonial hypocrisy. That's the colonial hypocrisy. That's the trap. Do not stop playing the game. Make it more ethical until it can only evolve. Now you guys argue there won't be any content, there won't be anything interesting if there's not any fighting or, or conflict. That boredom that you're expecting, that boredom is the new excitement. That boredom is the new excitement. That boredom becomes all of us having homes. That boredom becomes all of us being able to take care of ourselves. That boredom becomes all of us having enough cash to not worry about it. That boredom is the new excitement. That boredom is the comfort. And that boredom itself, because it is happening, will still be frustrating enough that it creates new interaction, new questions, and new content that is worth investigating. And so while you're concerned about things not being interested because we won't be able to fight anymore after a while, I'm concerned about the fact that because you want to keep fighting, a lot of people my age can't really take care of themselves and are tribing in groups that have not the ethical balance to sustain themselves. Now I wanted to go, I wanted to discuss about the tribes. So With the tribes, they are becoming more ethical. They are cooperating. And we go on there and we just eat them apart. We chew them apart. And that is increasing the stance that these NPCs have on us, which is they're trying to be better. They are more cooperative than we are. We, won't, we, won't, we will kill anyone who does not have a numbered, a, a colored number above their head. The NPCs in the game are managing to work better together than we are. That is a real ethical statement that the game has on our collective psychology. We go in there as they're developing, we go in there as they're becoming better, and we eat them apart, we chew them apart, we take their stuff. This increases their ability to say that we deserve whatever's happening in our reality. Look at me, look at me, I just nodded. I got my arm back. So, do not abandon the game. Learn how to play it better. Because if we all behave so much better, we trade, we do everything right, the game becomes pointless the way it is, and the developers have to change it. And the developer only represents nature. The developers only represent God at this point. If we all become so much better that the stance on the game, that the stance that the game has on us, which is that the NPCs are cooperating better than we are, is broken, then the game will have to change to survive. Same thing applies with life. So know that even as you evolve, even as you become ethical because of this message, that because of what you've been doing, there are going to be challenges to it. 
And these challenges for the time being are going to be fair. And you are going to have to find every way you can not to fall for unethical traps, not to deteriorate back into invasion scavenging scheme. It is going to challenge you. It is not going to be easy. It is not going to let you do it at first. It wants to make sure that you actually want to. It wants to make sure that you are willing to die to have that. That is what it's going to do. You're not just gonna be able to say, I know the answer now and everything's gonna work out. It wants to make sure that you are the answer. Not that you know a thought, not that you think the answer, but that you are the answer. That's what it's gonna make sure. So, this is proof that I can provide more with a fucking video game than you ever will. So stop hating.